Good morning. Um, my name is Renier van Deventer. I'm the cellar master here at Le Huguenot Winery, um, which is the home of the Valdivie range. Um, over the next few weeks, we're going to look um, at tasting through the, the wines we, we make here at the Le Huguenot Winery. Um, it's actually so nice to be part of a, uh, an estate that, that offers so much. Um, situated here in the Paul France Hook um, Valley, um, it's an estate that has fantastic restaurants, coffee roastery, and um, to have this winery here sort of just fills in the picture. Um, especially with the restaurants on the estates, um, it's always good uh, to know we can do food and wine pairings uh, and to have these wines available. Um, I think it sort of just uh, colors in the package uh, quite nicely. So the wines we're going to taste over the, the, the next few weeks um, will consist out of our Polo Club range. Um, you can see under, under this packaging o over here, uh, which is sort of um, very easier drinking style wines. Um, it's sort of just to, s to celebrate the, um, the lifestyle on, on Valdivie. Um, sort of, it's, a very, it's easy drinking wines, very fruit driven wines. Um, then we also have the estate range. You can see slightly more serious packaging over here. Um, it's slightly more full bodied wines, wines that is also made to be enjoyed when you sit down with your friends and, and have dinner or lunch. Um, and yeah, when we, we get into the tasting of, of, of each wine, we're going to go into a bit more detail. Uh, but today we're going to start with the, with the Sauvignon Blanc from the Polo Club range, and then um, the Cuvée de Vie, the MCC, the sparkling wine um, that we have here. So we're going to start the tasting with the Val de Vie Cuvée de Vie, the Brut. Um, you'll hear me refer to it as an MCC during the tasting. Um, it just stands for Method Cup Classic. So in South Africa, we're not allowed to call it champagne, but this is the way champagne is made in France. So this MCC is a combination of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier grapes. Um, these are also the varieties that traditionally is grown in the Champagne Valley in France. Um, and we thought it well to have these varieties in the Cuvée de Vie, the Brut. Um, Brut also just refers to it's a dry um, sparkling wine. Traditionally, the MCC grapes um, is picked uh, very early in the season. Our harvest normally lasts between um, January till April. So this will be the first grapes that we will take in. Uh, everything is um, whole bunch, um, hand harvested, the whole bunches. Uh, and then it actually goes whole bunch into the press. The reason why we don't put it through the crushing and de-stemming is that as a whole bunch, as the bunches go directly into the press, you get a very gentle press of all the varieties. Um, this is to ensure a very smooth, soft juice that will then ferment. Um, and then this, after the base wine is made, uh, this will go to the bottle and it will undergo a second fermentary um, process in the bottle. And that's also where the name comes in, Method Cup Classic. MCC is for me, it's sort of just a very great wine to start off anything, uh, to celebrate um, any situation or occasion. Uh, personally at home, we always have a bottle of MCC in the fridge. Um, even if we don't have a reason to celebrate, we, we then just celebrate the reason that there's an MCC in the fridge. So it's always a good tip, keep one in the fridge, you never know when you're going to need it. The next wine we're going to taste is the Sauvignon Blanc from the Polo Club range. As I said, the Polo Club range um, in the Val de Vie wine range um, is the very easier drinking um, style of, of wines. Uh, so the Sauvignon Blanc we're going to look at is um, for me really a classic example of Sauvignon Blanc in South Africa. We've got beautiful microclimates um, from very warm regions to very cool regions. For this Sauvignon Blanc we actually source the grapes from both of these regions to get a good combination of that warm tropical flavors, more your um, guava characteristics and then the cool region will give you that beautiful sort of green peppery uh, cut grass um, gooseberry um, and passion fruit characteristics so Sauvignon Blanc um, from a winemaking point of view is very important to pick the grapes at the right uh, degrees belling which means the the the, the right um, uh, optimal ripeness and then um, to process the different batches separately. So we keep everything separate in the cellar during fermentation um, and then afterwards we will bring the blend together to see what flavors we want for this style of, of Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc is really just 
a, a wine that should already jump out of the glass. When you smell it, you shouldn't be thinking what variety it is. It should have that beautiful tropical flavors, that sort of undertones of, of, of green characteristics. Um, you should know you're busy drinking Sauvignon Blanc. On the palate, Sauvignon Blanc should show really nice zesty flavors and a lingering acidity. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc typically is a wine that you will enjoy on its own or with food. Um, basically anything fresh, think Sauvignon Blanc. If you're enjoying fresh salads, some sushi, or just enjoying a nice picnic outdoors in the sun, um, that is when you want to have a glass of Sauvignon Blanc in your hand to sort of quench the, the thirst. And I think with the Polo Club Sauvignon Blanc, um, it really ticks all the boxes. The palate is alive, um, really just a good summer drink to enjoy. Cheers. Thank you and if you like um, these type of videos and content that we shared with you uh, today um, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and yeah please leave comments below and give us feedback. Thank you.